Tanu Narang, faculty member of Oro University. Once again, welcome all of you to GIH Gujarat Industrial Hackathon 2018-19. If you lighten the lamp for someone else, it will brighten your path also. On this note, please may I request our guest of honor, Dr. Amish Daknikji, Shri Amish Daknikji, Dean Dr. Rohit Singh, Registrar Professor Ajay Kumar Yadav Ji, Nodal Officer uh, GIH Dr. SN Sampath Ji, Coordinator for GIH at our University Ms. Vijay, Vijeta Prajapati to please come forward and light the lamp. <laughs> SSIP 2018-19. Education Department, Government of Gujarat has taken series of initiatives to design and develop innovation processes and ecosystem across its affiliated colleges and universities. At state level, SSIP is pioneering series of interventions and Gujarat Hackathon is an annual flagship program where young students can leverage their technical skills to solve real-life challenges posed by various stakeholders. Last year, during Smart Gujarat for New India, 17 departments of Government of Gujarat like Agriculture, Home, Urban Development, Port and Transport, Energy and Petrochemicals and others shared 213 challenges to all students across universities for solving them and creating innovative solutions. Students from across disciplines like BCA, Engineering, MCA, MSC, IT, Pharmacy and allied branches had participated in this one of its kind program at state level. While taking this, the legacy further, Higher and Technical Education Department, Government of Gujarat has organized Industrial Hackathon 2018-19 in line with the last year's effort. Through these programs, students will be working on real-life challenges, challenges of SMEs, industries and large corporations. Through this, SSRP wish to make serious efforts to create a strong, open innovation program involving industry, academia, keeping students and innovators and startups at the center. Special focus this year has been to solve challenges of MSME sectors. Special efforts have been made to see that students try to solve challenges of MSMEs in Gujarat in general. Small and medium enterprises have emerged as an engine of growth in several developed and developing economies of the world and in India they play a critical role in job creation and economic impact. We at Oro are honored and glad to host an event like this which coincides with our university's vision and mission. And on this note, Oro University is inspired from teachings of Sri Aurobindo and the Divine Mother. 
and we at our university focus on an integral education and transformation in learning to our students in the four important aspects that is physical, mental, vital and spiritual. I would now request our Dean Academics Dr. Ruit Singh to please come <coughs> forward and introduce the university to the gathering. Thank you, Tanuman. A uh, very good morning to the guest for the inaugural, Dr. Kamlesh Yagminji, OSD for this Gujarat Industrial Hackathon, Sanjay Sampaji, Hiteshi Diwanji, CA Patel, all the jury members from the different parts of the institutions from Gujarat, head of school from different programs and the schools from the Nehru University, faculty members, faculty coordinators, Coordinator for this Gujarat Industrial Hackathon from Auro University, Vijayda Prajapati, Resta, Control Examinations, Finance Office and all the members who are supporting this, I heartily welcome you into this second hackathon being organized by Auro University. Auro University under the scheme of Student Startup and Innovation Policy, last year has been approved by the Gujarat Knowledge Society and the Department of Technical Education, Government of Gujarat to be one of the centers for providing innovation, incubation, entrepreneurship, ecosystem, environment and support to the students and all the people who are being involved into the innovation of uh, innovation and incubation of ideas leading to generation of some kind of feasibility and scalability of any business idea. This year we have this Gujarat Industrial Hackathon where total of 23 industries have been identified 26 problems have been given to the students. At this or university today, today we are having hackathon at two places, that is Ahmedabad and Surat. At Surat we have been identified with 110 teams, but technically in the morning I have received information around 74 teams has registered till now. Out of which total of around 350 participants are there. So university is trying to provide this. I welcome all the participants from the different parts of the Gujarat to participate into this Gujarat Industrial Hackathon. Our university is uh, being established in the year 2011. Uh, this is the only private university in south of Gujarat which is being approved by University Grants Commission and it has all the programs which have been approved by all regulatory agencies. This university was established with a mission to provide integral and transformational education to the students who are coming at the university. The objective is, students like you are, who are participating into the different events, they need to grow, they need to evolve. This university has this vision, we are, we are trying to provide that opportunity to the students to evolve from the current state to the next level. We have the vision statement for the students, we provide opportunity for them as based on their aptitude and knowledge. We also provide an opportunity to the faculty member who come with their knowledge, skill and industrial research and give it to the students in the classroom teaching and learning. Why you are participating into this Gujarat Industrial Hackathon? Because you can come up with some solution and that solution can be adopted by MSNE or any industry working in Gujarat. We also provide that opportunity for the industry and community. Purpose is the students who is going out of this university is to be employed either by the industry or any organization who is working for the community. We want our students, anybody participating into any event should be ethical, carrying those values and working with the society. We have this logo, we'll explain you after a few minutes when I play that video and then let you know what is the purpose why university is being established for.
So, this is simple meaning of the logo. Just to explain you, these are the 12 core values which we operate with, which has been defined by the outer petals. These are the four aspects of education, physical, mental, vital, and spiritual, which we work with. Any student aspiring to enter into our university is looking for a higher level of education, which is being reflected by the triangle moving upward. Faculty member with their higher level of knowledge is giving those knowledge add to the expectation and their knowledge required at the level of the student, so it is being reflected by the inverse triangle. The other meaning is we have four stakeholders as a business model for the university. So we have students, parent, industry and community and faculty members. Along with that, any business organization should have those 12 core values in order to be successful. As an university, we want to grow and evolve. In our process of growing and evolving, we also want to give it back to the society which is being reflected by the inverse triangle. This logo also has a spiritual significance. Uh, any individual in order to become successful needs those 12 core values. Triangle moving upward, it reflects every individual human being is aspiring for a higher level of consciousness. In his quest for higher level of consciousness, the divine bliss, and that is being reflected by the inverse triangle. The intersection between the upward moving triangle and the downward triangle, reflected by the square, is known as Sachidana, the extreme happiness and ecstasy. In order to sustain ourselves in this world, we need four Shaktis, Mahakali, Mahalakshmi, Mahasaraswati and Maheshwari. And the center point represents the divine consciousness. So this is not simply a common seal or a logo which we put at everywhere. We have a purpose, we call it, it is a living logo which you must be wants to work and live with. So these are the 12 values which I specified. We have a unique learning principle, we call it 20, 30 and 50 principle. In university, daily we have only two classes of two hours each. We say 20% of the learning is done through learn, uh, is through listening, 30% is through seeing, and 50% through doing. We also have different schools. We are school of business. We are running MBA, BBA, di uh, diploma in family business, diploma in capital market. We have BCom, we have PhD, and all these programs are being running uh, at the school, which was established in the 2011. The other school which we have with us is a school of hospitality. We have four year BSc hospitality program. We started diploma in event management and diploma in bakery and patisserie. This year onwards we are going to start MS in hospitality management. We have school of law which was established in 2012 with BBLLB and BLLB. We started with LLM last year, LLM intellectual property right and we are planning to start uh, constitutional and administrative law and general law also. We have School of IT running BSC IT, MSC IT, and BSC MSC IT integrated. Uh, we have started the PhD in IT. We are running a School of Design with BDES in Communication, Fashion, and Interior Design, and we have created an integrated for four years plus two years. We have Liberal Arts and Human Sciences. We are running BA, BA honors four years, and BA and MA integrated five years. We are School of Journalism and Mass Communication. We are running VJMC three years, then VJMC honors four years, and then NJMC one year. We are also doing uh, the CSR activity, which we call it University Social Responsibility through our Aadhaar Club. And if anyone you know who is very good in academics but cannot afford education, please recommend them to our university. We give 100% waiver in the tuition fees into any of these programs. And this is what we have in terms of the need-based and the merit scholarship at the university. Thank you so much for coming to our university and participating into this Gujarat Industrial Hackathon. Thank you, Rohit. Thank you, Rohit, sir, for introducing the university to the gathering. It is indeed my privilege to introduce you to uh, our guest of honor today, Sri Kamlesh Yagnikji, past president, SDCCI. Mr. Kamlesh Yagnik is the chief resilience officer who supports the Surat Municipal Corporation and Surat Climate Change Trust Strategy for the city, which includes establishing a result-based resilience strategy creating partnerships with the public and private sectors and engaging the public to participate in building resilience in Sudan. Mr. Yagnik has sound experience with different civic bodies having worked on numerous development projects in the city. So, please may I request you to come forward and encourage the students for the hackathon.
असफलता असफलता एक चुनौती है क्या कमी रह गई देखो और सुधार करो जब तक सफल न हो नींद चैन को त्यागो तुम संघर्ष का मैदान छोड़कर भागो मत कुछ किए ही बिना जय जय कार नहीं होती कोशिश करने वालों की हार नहीं होती दिस ब्यूटीफुल पॉइम रिटर्न बाई हरिवंश राय बच्चन वन ऑफ माई फेवरेट पोएम्स एंड इट शोज मी द वे एंड इट इज ऑलवेज बीन वेरी डियर टू मी टूडे एज अ स्टूडेंट यू आर पार्टिसिपेटिंग इन दिस हेकाथॉन हेकाथॉन इट इज अ कॉम्बिनेशन एज वी नो ऑफ टू वर्ड्स हैक एंड मैराथॉन और दो इट इज कंसिडर्ड एज अ टू डेज इवेंट बट आई वॉट आई वॉन्ट एज अ स्टूडेंट दैट इट हैज टू बी योर लाइफ लॉन्ग मिशन टू हैक एंड टू मैराथॉन मैराथॉन मीन्स रियली लॉन्ग लास्टिंग एंड टेक्निकली वी से दैट इट्स अ फोर्टी टू किलोमीटर्स रेस एंड टू हैक इज नॉट इन अ कन्वेंशनल टर्म्स ऑफ द हैकर्स एज वी ऑल नो इट टू हैक इज ऑल्सो टू एक्सप्लोर so we have to be an exploratory being that's the spirit of this kind of combination this a type of competitions hackathon as we all know has started sometime in the year 1999 and this particular world was coined you know around that time and since then world over many hackathons have taken place many solutions have come out of this kind of competitions Skype, as we all know, Google, Facebook. These are the companies. They have benefited immensely by organizing and by supporting this kind of hackathon, and that's very, very evident. In our country, also, in last five to seven years, the spirit of hackathon is seen all over the nation. To cite you a very a successful example of hackathon is. at rajkot in a city of rajkot when this kind of hackathon was organized by again by state of gujarat and local municipal corporation had floated a tender generally you know any city you find the water loss is to the average water loss in our country in water distribution system is about 18 to 20% in rajkot during that time just two years ago <laughs> the water loss was almost reaching 30% so corporation was very very keen solving this problem and they invited young minds to participate and to deliberate on this kind of problems and one of the team came out with a solution and surat and rajkot municipal corporation they had floated a tender to the tune of around 6 to 7 crore and the solutions which was given by young student was less than 30 lakhs of rupees so immense benefit the corporations derived by participating in this kind of ekathon so it is very very important that this kind of events take place two years ago the prime minister of israel he was in ahmedabad and during the course of his address to the gathering he referred that india is a lucky country because of students like hers zala this ordinary name i'm sure very few or almost no one will know of this name hers zala now this hers zala was deferred by none other than israel prime minister and think about it you know this compliments is coming out from prime minister of israel and israel as we all know one of the finest country who have come out with lot of innovations of its own now what did hers zala did what did he do hers zala is 16 today you know like he is in his 17th year and this young boy from ahmedabad he designed a drone because he as we all know 
today you know like we are, are having a border dispute between various nations and if you find it on the nation border there are landmines you know which are put across the border and they are very very dangerous so persons you know when they travel on the landmines it's very likely and a lot of people they get they die they get amputated and this immense loss to the human life and again you know to the animal life also and world over people were worried how to resolve these issues. It is very, very difficult to solve this problem. Now, out of nothing, you know, this young boy, he participated. He was 15 year old when he probably 14, 14 and a half years studying in his 9th standard or 10th standard. He did participate in this kind of open event which was organized by somewhere in Ahmedabad. And he designed a drone system and using the drone, he could identify the landmines which is under the soil and he could not only identify it, the best part, he could diffuse that particular landmines. And today, this young man, you know, like, is having a company of his own and order worth 350 crore from Defense Department. So this is, this is a power of Hekathon. And our young minds, they are so powerful, you know. There's one more example, you know, I want to give it at this particular time. It is very, very important. We do not explore our mind. We do get restricted, we do get diverted from what all is happening. There is another person, I want to name it, again, a young student. Imagine a person of, again, 15 or 16 years of age, who was, when he's, during his school days, the teacher told them that I, your son, I mean, uh, the teacher told the father of the son that your son, you know, we cannot teach him because he's not in a position to grasp anything. And father, he was electrical engineer, he said, what's wrong with my son? I must do something for my son because he's my son, mera beta hai, mujhe kuch karna hai. And what did he do? He studied BA psychology and subsequently he studied MA psychology. And by the time you know, his son came in sixth year, he had finished both the degrees of BA and MA. And then he put, he exercised, he experimented on his son. And his son, when he was in standard eight, he just imagine, again, he was 15 year old boy. And this, I'm not giving an example of a distant land. These are the examples from our own state. And the persons, you know, I've met them in person. And again, in a recent past, this boy, standard 8th, 9th, 10th, 11th and 12th. This five year course, this young boy, he completed in one single year. Gujarat Higher Education Board, they passed a special resolutions and gave him permission to do science course. You know, he completed everything in one year time. This was when he was 15 years of age. And at the age of 16, he said that I want to get into engineering college. Gujarat Technical University, they passed a special resolution and they said that this boy may be permitted in class first year engineering in FE and he started working. And he was you know, associated with LD Engineering College, Ahmedabad and this boy in one year he completed first year engineering, second year engineering, third year engineering and fourth year engineering. In one year, this boy completed all the four years of engineering courses in electrical engineering and he said that enough. Uh, I mean, university had to pass. You may look at, you know, in your uh, YouTube and Google, everywhere this information is available. This boy, after passing out his B in only one year, he decided in my college there are other engineering streams. So he said that fine, you know, like I want to do it. Again, university helps. See, what I'm trying to say that if students is willing, then there is a support available. People are ready to support you if you really want to do something. This boy decided that I want to do something else. At the age of 16, he said that I want to do mechanical engineering, electrical engineering, and electronics and communications. These three courses, you know, he did it in the following year. And today, this boy at the age of 17, he has four engineering degrees. It's, it's, it's a phenomenal achievement. There's something, you know, which we, his name is 
Nirbhay Thakkar. And today, you know, his father is considered as one of the finest educationalists. See, he did not. The boy was ordinary boy until, you know, he was 10 or 12. And all of, and then was a sudden transformation out of sheer support of his father. And then subsequently, you know, he went to IIT Mumbai to do his PhD. And the, both these boys, they are supported by, they are mentored by one of the finest diamond company of uh, Surat currently. Both of them are supported. You know, any kind of financial support, technical support, whatever they wanted, it is available to them. So this is what, you know, is a power of explorations. You really have to put in your best in order to get best. And uh, this kind of hackathon, it is, it is very, very important because it is collaborative in nature. You know, and it is really good that on an average we have about four individuals in one team and trying to resolve many problems. I am not sure what kind of problems you know, you're going to solve it. But yes, you know, like as a society, we have immense issues you know, which are available. Today, the moment you know, we go out of you know, our house or out of our college, out of comfort zone, we find it, the problems are waiting to be solved. So what is important that we gather problems. See, more important, if you can identify a problem by yourself, there are many, there are many. You talk about water, you talk about the sanitation, you talk about pollution, air, manufacturing techniques, clean manufacturing, immense amount of problems. We have a database of problems. Now, uh, this particular problems, you know, we have to resolve. And uh, students like you can certainly do it. Uh, we all know that uh, <coughs> there is something, you know, which is required. What is the inherent quality, you know, we should have it. And for that, in the year 2005, at the Stanford Uni University convocation, Steve Jobs, they gave, I mean, he gave his convocation address. And it is about 8 to 10 minutes convocation speech. And I strongly recommend that you should listen to this speech of Steve Jobs, which he delivered during the convocation function of Stanford University in the year 2005. Don't work after it. So ideas do get about it. Now this boy, you know, whom I'm talking about, what did he do? He ensured it, what are the problems? And he found out that in an elderly person, in mentally retarded persons, there is a big challenge in India and across the world. The issue is fecal incontinency. In the sense, as a person grows older, they do not have control over their organs. So what did he do? He essentially devised a kind of, you know, the pads, you know, which we, uh, sanitary, we napkin, the napkins, you know, which are used, the diapers, you know, like technically. So he devised a kind of diaper which everyone is wearing today. And today, this boy, he is doing a business of 300 million. He has orders from, you know, European countries, American countries. And this is a very simple idea. He pursued it. He put in, you know, like hard labor on this kind of, and you can see his name again. His name is Nishit Jasmawala. He is from city of Surat, and that's what he developed. A very simple idea. So what is important is any idea, if you come across, you have to nurture that ideas. And then only you can see the result, you know, out of this idea. So this is what is all about. A lot of things are required and while you are in Oro University and as you know we just heard that it's one of the finest university which gives and they nurture you know for your ideas uh, you are at the right platform and as you are going to be working on your own ideas trying to resolve these problems a lot of things is needed to be done you need to collaborate and as a team member you know everyone will have a different skills different attitude but what is important is staying together and work till end and try to achieve success no matter whether you succeed this time or not that's not very important and I compliment everyone for participating in this and 
I sincerely wish best of luck to everyone now and in future as well. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, sir, for your engaging and inspirational uh, examples, particularly the student examples. I'm sure it was very much relevant and this will motivate the students, our participating students, for the challenge that they are going to face ahead. I would now request Dr. S.N. Sambath, Nodal Officer, GIS 2019, to please come forward and declare the hackathon open. Thank you, Madam. Namaskar and warm good morning to all of you. I think uh, now we should, I should just summarize talk of two gentlemen who rightly very well spoken about different aspects of today's event. The first is we should inculcate all 12 values to be successful as a human being. And through Numerous examples, Sir Kamlesh Yadnik Ji, Sir, also explained, Kosis Karne Walo Ki Kabhi Aar Nahi Hoti. Lekin Kosis Aisi Honi Chahiye, where all these 12 values are, petals are included. So, on behalf of uh, Commissioner of Technical Education, and GKS, Gujarat Knowledge Society, SSIP. I declare this hackathon as open. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, sir. It's time for some display of gratitude. May I request uh, Dr. Rohit Singh to please um, present our guest of uh, honor today uh, with a token of gratitude. Please may I request Dr. Meghna Nangi, uh, Associate Professor of School of Business, to present the token to Dr. S. N. Sampal, <coughs> Nodal Officer, GIH 2019. Please may I request Dr. Monica Suri, HOD School of Business, to present uh, a token to Dr. Rith Ashi Devanji, Professor and Head, IT Department, LT College. <laughs> Now please may I request Dr. Papri Das from School of IT to present the token to Dr. Chirag Patel, uh, Associate Professor, IT Department, BJEC, Chandrakira Ardhapak. <laughs> it's also ex important to express our gratitude. And for this, the person that I would like to call is our Registrar, Professor Ajay Singh Marji, to please come forward. Then. Good morning everyone. Uh, it's my honor to present the formal vote of thanks on this occasion. First of all, a special thanks to our chief guest of this uh, opening ceremony, Dr. Shri Kamlesh Yagnikji, for placing this occasion, motivating the students with his insightful examples and hope that this hackathon will be a good learning experience for all the participating students. Thank you, sir. A special thanks to the Government of Gujarat, the Department of uh, Technical Education and uh, Gujarat Knowledge Society, SSIP, for choosing Oral University to be the venue for this Hackathon 2019. I would like to thank Dr. S. N. Sampat, Nodal Officer, SSIP, Dr. Ketangshi Devangi, if I am <laughs> pronouncing it right, uh, Dr. Chirak Patel, and all the jury members and nodal officer and the experts who have come for this event. A special thanks are also due to the participating students who have really created a buzz in this campus. And this buzz will definitely get translated into higher energy. Some may win, but no one will lose. That is for sure. I also like to thank all my colleagues my management and my leadership, our Vice Chancellor Professor Adesh Kumar Singh, who has always been a motivating factor for us 
guidance that is always has been with us and he has always inspired us to take up such challenges. Thank you all and wish all the best to the participating team. Thank you. Thank you, sir. And let's move forward. But before that, please may request each one of you to rise for Vande Mahatma. <laughs> क्रांतिकारी आद्य कवि नर्मद कहवत भोजन सूरत न भोजन एट सूरत न मृत्यु पम् हो तो प्रॉब्लम भोजन सफर बना तो आधार स्तंभ वस्तु गुजराती मित्र 
તમારા જેવા વિદ્યાર્થીઓને મળ્યો એ બધાને છે ને નાવામાંથી આજે ટેબ્લેટ લઈ ગયા આપણે ભારતના લોકો છે આપણે જરૂરવાદ નાવાથી થાય તો મારી આયોજકોને વિનંતી છે એટલે કે કોસ્ટ ઇન્સ્ટિટ્યૂટને કે આવતા વર્ષે જેવી પાર્ટિસિપેટ આવે એ પાર્ટિસિપેટને નાવાની ટેબ્લેટ ના લેવી પડે એવું જો જો એટલે કે એ લોકોને નાવાની તો એટલે પ્રોવાઈડ કરજો ફરીથી આ જેટલા બી વિદ્યાર્થી છે ને જેટલા બી પાર્ટિસિપેટ છે ને એ બધા પોતાના માટે તાલીમ પાડો કારણ કે તમારા વગર અમે નથી भविष्य बौद्धिक संपदा जज करने मौको आप ियड Thus, we are here to witness the valedictory session of the Gujarat Industrial Hackathon 2018-19 at Oro University. As we all know, today Education Department, Government of Gujarat, has taken series of initiatives to design and develop innovation processes and ecosystem across its affiliated colleges and universities. At state level, SSIB is progressing series of interventions, and Gujarat Industrial Hackathon is an annual flagship program. where young students leverage their technical skills to solve real time real life challenges posed by various stakeholders this year taking the legacy further to the next level higher and technical education department government of gujarat organized gujarat industrial hackathon 2018-19 in line with last year efforts on smart gujarat for new india these programs facilitated the students while they were working on real life challenges of challenges of smes industries and large corporations special focus this year were on challenges of msme sectors students try try to solve challenges of msmes in gujarat in general so without any further ado let me call upon ms vijeta prajapati coordinator hackathon 2018 19 to read the report of the event thank you a uh, lot of uh, all of you are from the it and technology i am not so much but i thought rather than listening to me i think you've heard me enough um, this is a small video so hopefully it will take you back good evening i'd like to share a short report on the gujarat industrial hackathon 1819 This year the hackathon has focused on industrial problems and has invited statements from medium large and small industries. We started off with registration and post breakfast all students were sent to their allocated classes. The chief guest for the inaugural was Mr Kamlesh Yagnik chief resilience officer Surat City. The various teams then started their 36 hour journey. An orientation for all the jury members was also done in the library by the SSIP and the OST team. The first mentoring round was held in the afternoon at 3 and the second round which was the evaluation round held at 9:15. To break the monotony and give them a new lease of energy for the night, we had an amazing breakout session. The morning started with some serene yoga and meditation for all the students. The tired teams were ready for their final evaluation at 
we'd like to take this opportunity to thank all the students faculty mentors and the jury for making the hackathon a success we'd also like to thank professor sampath and the ssip team who have helped us in the last entire week to make this event possible special gratitude for all the students staff and faculty members of oro university under the guidance of the vice chancellor involved in the hackathon art and hand the harmony of these three is very much necessary and i am very very much pleased for that now looking at some statistics in these two days there were total 78 teams and 426 students were there juries 45 from academia 3 from industries and from this jury we had 21 panels and this panel judged these 78 teams there were 18 different problem ids and the industries or branches we can say concern uh, were ec computer it chemical environment ic civil mech etc so it was a very good effort by all of us on behalf of commissioner of technical education gks ssip at this juncture i thank and congratulate all the participants and mentors for their active role i thank all the jury members for taking pain and utilizing their rich experience in a very positive way i am also very much thankful to the vc singh sir in academics rohit singh sir even coordinator vijayta prajapati ma'am and all the volunteers and all the members over here thank you very much so my students are not at the third year they are just crossing the second year now this year <laughs> in the month of may i don't know whether they have passed participate i told them to have some events in, which is going on here and i informed them also but anyway this is an event which always i like because since 2010 from the dst side I am always an observer for this kind of events at the lower level than you. That's at the PUC level. Up to the twelfth standard, rather tenth standard, all activities, creativities will be there with you. I know that because I have seen, as an expert in the subject of physics and electronics, I have seen the people working lots of things at high school level. So many projects they present, so many ideas they bring out. Even there was a person who was. thinking of a device which can lift something falling into the bore well at the time it was 2 years ago and that was successfully presented in the central government level and it was taken as a important device for that because there were incidences where child used to fall into the open bore wells and the idea was driven by a person and a student the eighth standard in it that after having looked at so many problems so these are the points where we start your own ideas for doing the things and that is the best way of taking the life also if you do if you stop thinking after crossing the 12th standard then you will end up no way the time has become such that you sh you should be knowing the technology of today and your working style your learning style everything should be support you it should be giving you so much of knowledge about what is going on around say for example you might have heard about quantum dots 
and quantum towers are now being used in making TVs. You had OLED, that is organic light emitting diodes. Now quantum light emitting diodes have come. And so much of progress has been done. Samsung is looking for somebody to develop the panels for even the TV, I mean for the PCs. They have developed some uh, TV panels also, the rates are coming down soon. That means quantum light emitting diode means what is the dimension of that you can just imagine. And then if you look at the meta materials and also the uh, hydrophobic materials which are used for packing and painting the cars <coughs> like that, so much of advancement has been done. The market for 2030 is predicted yesterday. What would be the market for these materials in the form of various various devices? And <coughs> so it becomes necessary for you to get, get the information about what is going on in the scientific and technological level. <coughs> and then you should be able to implement that. Yesterday I had the news after having this information from uh, Dr. Roy Singh. I just looked at what is going on. Somebody from engineering college has developed a filter. Water filter, just a 35 rupees cost. And just to fit into the bottle, filter it. Then drink it directly. Whatever will be the pollution in that, it will be clear. Including ion exchange, it does. Generally, ion exchange requires a power supply, which is not required for that. So he has developed the one. This is the creativity, this is the kind of thinking that you have to make. Otherwise, nothing will be possible. So, in these 36 hours of marathon performance of you, you must have developed some very good, uh, say, projects. I don't know what are the types of projects you have developed so far. There was no information about that for me. Otherwise, I would have joined also to see the things. Because just to, to see the things are very good. Because it's in the progress. It's not done somewhere and brought it here. It's developed here only, I think. So this kind of, for this, what should be the, you should be having an attitude. What is the attitude? Why I'm having, because, your performance or application, everything you look at that, you add the number associated with the alphabet of attitude. Your other qualities, say you are a very good uh, intelligent people, everything is fine. But your attitude, if it is not for the, de for the development of yourself in the industrial arena, then it's of no use. Attitude, if you add the numbers of A, T like that, it becomes exactly 100. It becomes exactly 100. That is the only one which is required to be there with you. Otherwise, uh, I think uh, no other qualities will be matching with that. So my job is to have concluding conclusion for this. I mean, very triple committees. So my job is to say, you must have done well. Keep doing the things, whatever you have done so far, keep doing the things because not only the same, keep looking for the new invention. There is difference between discovery, there is difference between invention. What is the difference? Anybody knows that? Anybody knows the difference between discovery? People do a lot of research. What is the difference between invention and discovery? Any idea? No, 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 it's not that. No. Here. There are two things. I give an example. Just a just use the objective type question to Say, the Newton's law, the falling of apple and then, you say it as invention or discovery? That is discovery because he could find out a law for that. What is invention then? Invention of aeroplane. What is an invention? Say, torch for example. The LED light is for example or any other device that is derived out of a basic principle that becomes an invention. So it should be more of that side because we are the country having the least, I mean what a percentage of performance as far as inventions are concerned. Switzerland is the highest. Switzerland is the highest. And then comes other countries like Japan and Korea and like that. You know they are working like such that in all the universities they have their centers of invention. Centers of invention, not discovery. They don't want to have a discovery from you. It is only the question of inventing. Quantum dot is already discovered. There is such a thing is there. It's a dimensionless, I mean almost zero dimension. Okay. And that is being used for various devices like a flat panel display where quantum dots are used. This is an invention. It's not a discovery. It's an invention. Because it is having optical properties of it and that is being used. 
So you have to be more inventing type. That's what I say with our students. You should be inventing many things so that it will be useful for mankind or humankind. Our requirement is so much so, whether in this state or any other state in the country, the requirement is very much high. The inventions have to be done by the people who are youngsters, not like person me. I can only give you the facilities. I'm a facilitator. I can do the job of giving the facilities to you, but inventions have to be done by the best brains. Who are the best brains then? Everybody is a best brain. Only thing is his attitude has to change. If you mind, you can do it. If you say you can't, you can't always. Which will be the object, which will be the subject, you can't make it. So with this few words, I say that these things be happening. This hackathon may be happening in this university or any other university because this is the best place with all amenities, facilities, everything as appreciated by the professor. It is, everything is there and a team of people are dedicated for this kind of events. It is possible to conduct such events with a good facility. Mm -hmm. Overnight, if an order comes, how do you do that? It is possible only when you have a setup for that. So, I heard from the people that it has been organized very well. I heard from the people that 78 projects have been done. And then, out of that, of course, maybe some of them are very good. It will be necessary for giving any prize for them. So, keep doing this best thing, and this will be taking you a long, long way in your life. And keep this spirit of looking at new items, new, new products which you can make. So all the best to all of you, and thanks for inviting me for this very function. Thank you very much. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, I would not like to take much of the time because a lot of people are standing, bus is waiting. But uh, just to let you know, this is the second edition of the hackathon which we have organized. Uh, the first one was last year. And being a part of it is SSIP policy by the Technical Department of Higher Education. We are continuing the efforts to bringing that ecosystem into the campus for the people like you to experiment, innovate, incubate the ideas and take it to the next level. For your information, last year, one of the students from Rajkot who was participating into the regional round, he was the winner in the final round at Gandhinagar. So I'm looking forward that someone from you may be there also this time coming out of this regional round and winning the hackathon there in Ghani Nagar. Wishing you all the best for that. This year, uh, the total number of teams increased. Uh, we have total number of 79 teams, uh, total of 435 students. Uh, they got our problems from different companies, industries focusing upon, primarily from Adani, Hazira, Axon, you know, all those Vasudev, all those they have elaborated their problems which has been given to you. Uh, I thank all the jury members who were there into this and they helped you out in giving those ideas how to make it more relevant. I thank all my teams who are here who has helped you out in executing this uh, running hackathon and helping you out in this process of finding a probable solution. Remember this, uh, what I have seen, a lot of students who have incubated the idea, participated in the hackathon, but somehow you miss this. There are a lot of private organizations, private eco-working system in places which are available in the city across the state also, in India also. There are certain programs within DST which is saying if you have participated into any of the hackathons and you somehow solution was not accepted, you can still apply for further improvements. I would request energy on each one of you that please look onto that information and try to apply again, maybe possibility this is just the first step that may become the major second step for you to take it further. I hope this uh, event will help you to come out with some new ideas which will equally help you in building your career. Wishing you all the best from all university and my team. Thank you so much.